I'm back. <laughs> 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 yep, sinus trouble and all. Kali is back with us. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hear any kind of coughing, sneezing, or anything like that, it's just that time of year. Yep. And unfortunately, as my child, there are lots of allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Impact Defense Podcast. Podcast. We're dedicated to giving you the information that you need to help keep you safe. Now, let's join our hosts, Brian and Jada. Okay, I've been teaching seminars for an extremely long time. Um, definitely longer than Kylie's been alive. Don't call me <laughs> old. How do you not call you old? You can't hear. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> This podcast is about to be brought to you by Coke and Coffee poured over Jada's head. <laughs> you know I'm kidding. I know. All right, so I've been teaching the semin- I've been teaching self defense seminars longer than Kylie's been alive. Um, How about longer than Jada's? Been no, alive? not longer than Jada's longer been alive. Than Jada. Ha! So maybe Jada's old. No, not really. I uh, feel old. <laughs> My back hurts all the time. My joints pop. I groan when I stand up. Just wait till you hit 20. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking forward to it. 20 is the new 40. <laughs> so anyway, as we were trying to say You're still earlier, running on old 40. Yeah. So, but it doesn't matter because you are 40. <sighs> can I speak now? <laughs> sure. Thank you. You can try. I'll try. All right. I would like, in the time that you have helped with the seminars... Did you do any of the seminars before you started helping with the seminars? No. I didn't think so. No, you just so. told me on one day, it's like, would you mind helping with this women's self-defense seminar? I'm like, sure, but I don't know what we're doing. You're like, it's okay. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, let's just go with that. Uh, from when you started helping with seminars to now, what kind of differences have you seen in the seminars? I think we cover a wider range of, of subjects and we're definitely more knowledgeable about all the things surrounding it. So, um, this we is used what to happens teach... when we work with world class instructors. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously. We, uh, we started out already covering more than the average self defense seminar covered. You know, That's we because talked you didn't about... see me back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, we talked more about awareness and we did um, avoiding a fight or avoiding a threat. We talked about the different aspects of self-defense. And then the last things we covered were um, more about the physical aspect of self-defense. So if you have to physically defend yourself. Um, and so that was our baseline. We did some, um, we did some abduction prevention, like uh, getting away from the car or um, just fighting off somebody. But we didn't have a flat-out abduction prevention seminar. It was just women's self-defense in general. Yeah. Um, now we cover a way wider array of things. Um, we talk about specific strategies to get out of the most common abduction methods. Um, the drop flow wiggle scream is across the board really applicable. We still do the awareness and first steps yeah. first, you know, uh, and we talk about uh, not being a target in the first place and all of that. But um, other than that, we've gotten, I think, just more applicable and um, easier for the average person to handle, you yeah. know, like come in and these are really things for people with no previous training to be able to come in and be confident in or their ability to Or people with lots themselves. of previous training. That's what I've learned or, from. Yeah, no, that I, too. We've had, we've had a couple people different. in here. We've had some people come through here that's like, uh, and I no offense to anybody because, you know, if you can come through our classes and get a black belt and still not be exposed to some of the stuff that we're doing in the seminars, but we have people that come through that's been training for years and years and years in some style of martial arts, and they just happen to come through here because this is different. It's not martial arts, so it's not quote-unquote martial arts. It's reality-based self-defense. And people come through here, and they go like, wow, I can't believe how much I actually learned in these last two hours or four hours or eight hours, depending on the course. Yeah, and it's not the thing I'm saying is it's not necessarily easier for someone who has had previous training. Yeah, It's across the board something that people just haven't been exposed to. Yeah. Um, 
I got very, very lucky, blessed, whatever you want to call it. When, when I started off, we already discussed how I feel like I was really blessed with the instructor that I had because he really, really believed in pressure testing. And in our self-defense, it wasn't just learn this technique. It was learn this technique when somebody is trying to stop you, is trying to actually attack you. You know, when you have this, where you, you know, obviously we learned it with more compliance, but you didn't grasp it until you were uh, able to do it against a non-compliant opponent. And that was that was something I was very very blessed with having, um, and then after that, just being able to work with people in um, across other forms and across other types of self defense in that reality based zone has really really helped, and it's just grown our stuff so much through the years. Yeah, the the women's self defense has definitely probably been uh, no, it has definitely been our most popular seminars it's the one we get the most interest in i mean women's self-defense is the thing i've been teaching for years 18 years i have had women's self-defense seminars that i've been teaching for 18 years yeah i will never forget the first one it was horrible i can't believe those poor ladies made it through the thing it was purely a if then then uh, if this then that kind of seminar that i've seen and that I've run my mouth about so much now. Aggravation is that people and instructors don't don't grow out of that. This podcast is brought to you by Impact Defense Style Online. There you can find our seminars, our t-shirts, and other stuff. Let's forget about the past. No, we're not forgetting about the past. We're talking about the past. But let's let's move to a more uh, recent past. Um, okay, so like I think one of the Best thing we could talk about is just some of our favorite moments from our new, the, the upgrades of the seminars. And it's just some of the yeah, things that's happened in some of the recent seminars. Yeah. For me, like, one of the new things that we have been doing has just been actually getting women to, while they, someone's trying to connect them, like, actually scream, you know, scream things like, help, um, let me go, you know, things like that. Um, or someone help me. It's just, yeah. it, those things. And... In trying to get and getting them to do that, they're like being really loud, and we are outside trying to put them in a vehicle or this quote is unquote trying this to put them in a vehicle. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is why, why we, we have to call the cops before we do this to yeah, let them know. Yeah, and then our neighbors. Yeah, and let everybody know. Yeah, we know. call the police and our neighbors. The um, police departments love the fact that we're doing these things, though. But we just have to call them every time. They just we said, do it. "Please, please let us know." So people. <clears throat> it's like my personal favorite thing that has ever happened at any seminar was when uh, Brian and one of our instructors, Gentry, were demonstrating the drop flow wiggle scream into getting thrown into a car. So she's, he's pulling her towards the vehicle. All these people are gathered around watching. We have a camera set up and we are outside behind this building. And then you've got this lady screaming while this large man is trying to throw her into a Jeep. And, a and then of people right watching. at this time, this guy starts walking past. Like he's coming down from over there, and I see this coming while Brian's doing the explanation. Yeah, unfortunately. And then he gets really close about the time that she starts screaming. And she's screaming, and he just stops and he's looking. He's looking a little panicked. And I'm over at the other end of the vehicle, closer to the road, closer to him. And I just have to turn. He's. He's looking really threatened. He's starting to like reach at his pocket like for a phone. And I looked at him and I said, training in progress. Just those three words. And he goes, oh, I thought he's, he's like, I was fixing to call the cops. Like, this lady's getting thrown into a van. And he said, like, all these people watching. And he says, I was about five seconds from 911. Yeah. He's like, I was about five <laughs> seconds from 911. I thought it was two seconds. I don't know. I think it was two seconds. Uh, whatever. He was he was ready to call. It was quite funny. Quite hilarious. <laughs> Unfor- I, I saw him right after I grabbed Gentry and started pulling her. And, and you, oh, I saw him long before that, but I, I wasn't going to stop us just to wait for a guy to pass because I would just be like sitting there, awkward yeah, silence. Yeah. You know, and that doesn't look good for a seminar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it would be almost worse if he had passed us and then heard the screaming. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. 
But yeah, but, that was. Oh my um, gosh! Just the guy walking past, not having any idea what's going on, and just all of a sudden, this lady starts screaming, getting thrown into the vehicle, and all these people are just standing around watching, and he's just like, <gasps> "He says, that what do I do?" And we just looked at everyone in the store. It's like, see, it gets attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It ended up being a teaching moment, and everybody laughed hysterically, and so we had lots of fun with that one. I will say. We're talking about our favorite moments. We're not necessarily saying, and I know that, because that, that has to rank really, really high on my list, and it may be, like, overall, like, my favorite. Yeah, like, that has that was freaking hilarious. I love that so much. I think that's my favorite funny moment from his yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, we, we've talked several times about the fact that, you know, Kylie has some anxiety issues and different stuff like that. Yeah. Well, this one rather large seminar that we were doing... Um, one of the things that I like that we have been doing lately is we have people that are helping with us. And it's, you know, me, you, Kylie, and Gentry most of the time. And then we have some other people as well. And it's starting to spread some of the teaching out some. Where it's not one of us speaking for four hours. You know, those things can be kind of hard. And it's hard on the person speaking, and then it becomes a little harder on everybody else because you're just listening to one voice, and as their voice is getting tired, then it gets a little more boring. So I like the fact that we're spreading teaching out a little bit. And I looked at Kylie this last time, and I said, okay, you know, these are teen girls and adults, adult ladies. I said, you're teaching something. What do you want to teach? And she taught two or three sections, and she just hopped out there, scared to death, and just went, boom, straight into performance mode. We had talked about the fact, she's scared to death of public speaking. She's a very good presenter. And I was, honestly, and, I, and I, it probably just boils down to a proud dad moment at that point in time, but I was like, heck yes, you did an awesome job. <laughs> yeah, what was going through my head is like, I, I don't know how this is going to go, my knees are already shaking. <laughs> and then afterwards, my knees were still shaking and felt a little weak. I felt like they were going to, like, pop out <laughs> and fall or whatever. That was just a nervous thing that I had to just, just get over. And that was a horn from a big <laughs> truck at the restaurant near their school. So, Kylie, give us, like, one of your... Favorite or most memorable moments of the podcast? I mean, not a podcast, a seminar. That- <laughs> um, I have to say that you punching one of the assistants twice in two separate seminars is actually pretty funny for me. <laughs> <laughs> because- I thought you were going to say getting recognized for TikTok. No. Well, that is, like, cool and everything, but, yeah. She really just liked seeing someone get punched in the face. No. <laughs> No, there was something behind it. Um, the first time, it was like for a small group, and he had an assistant and a knife to the neck, and he, he and then the assistant said, give me your child or whatever. And yeah, so then, we were talking about the fact that if somebody is holding a knife at you and says, give me your wallet, you need to just give them your money. That's replaceable. But if they ask for something that is not replaceable, then you have to act. And so he asked for Kylie. <laughs> And he just pulled the knife out and bam, punched him in the chin. Apparently, maybe uh, you're a little extra sensitive when it comes to your child. I'd, I'd like to keep my child. No matter how many times I aggravate him. Yeah. And then the second time, I was actually in the demonstration part, and it was when someone, you know, when you shove someone off to the side and behind you, when someone has a gun. And yeah, we're talking about if somebody pulls a gun on you and you have family with you, how you keep them safe in that situation while still being able to defend against with the gun or defend against the gun. Yeah. So I can't remember exactly what you did. It was the same. Unfortunately, it was the same assistant in both times. <laughs> and close to the same technique. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we went like, bam. Pow. <laughs> bam. Pow. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So, yes, I redirected the gun. Before he could pull the trigger, and then I accidentally actually made contact with punching him in the face. Um, yeah, so in both situations, I think we've learned that in a real situation, Brian is going to shove the weapon out of the way and punch them right in the face. Okay, in, in both of these situations, I did catch what happened before I like fully punched him in the face. 
Uh, I did kind of pull back. I just, apparently when my daughter's involved, I don't pull back fast enough. <laughs> so I'm just a little extra protective. Uh, so one of your most memorable or favorite moments from seminars is being protected by your father? Yes. <laughs> okay. I can it's nice to know, though, that I'm wanted. You are wanted. One of the most memorable things, we had the one where there was a robbery down the road, um, and the manager got shot, and then like yeah. all of the employees at that place, all yeah. of the waitresses and everything, just decided, okay, well, we're going to do this. And so we ended up having like 52 women signing up for a seminar. We, had, we, had, we, we were doing yeah. one seminar that day. We had to split it into two. Yeah, we had to split it into two separate seminars. Uh, well, that's actually the same one where we were getting choked. Yes, that's... Um, and we had all those women, and I had one lady, Gentry, was there, and she was in... We had, like, three different vehicles where women would go from one to the other, and they were working through these chokes. We were doing seatbelt chokes to cause low-speed crashes. And Gentry was in my vehicle, and they would come... Everybody would pile around our vehicle. We split We split the entire group of people, of ladies that, that day that into two different seminars and then each seminar was split into two different groups and one was inside working on things one was outside working on things so uh, we were getting choked for a very long time and with seat belts getting choked with seat belts really really sucks just so you know um so i was getting choked by gentry to show the rest of the ladies how to do it and then i got choked by every one of the ladies multiple times that day and I, you you know, all the way across that many ladies, that's a lot of times getting choked with a seatbelt, which means I couldn't talk right for a few days. But <laughs> that, like, that was memorable because I don't know that I will ever subject myself to being choked that many times with a seatbelt again in my entire life because there was a couple of days where I couldn't speak correctly and it was <laughs> interesting. That was absolutely one of the most memorable seminars we'd ever done, though. And a memorable day. We had seminars. never had anything that big before. No, no, we've had we've had some really big seminars, um, and we've had close to that, but we've never crested fifty. Um, now we've got something coming up in the future here. Well, no, no, no. Let's let's back up. We're not talking about the one we talked about at the beginning. We're talking about here very, very soon that we're going to be doing uh, for an organization or this is a church. We're going to do this one for a church, and it's going to be about the same size. So, but yeah, we do have one coming up here in about a month or so. Uh, when things relax, that is going to be about that big again. But that, it has the possibility of being memorable. And so maybe well, if it I has the chance. I don't know if it's just because I've had some really small ones that were also very memorable. That's I very did a true. women's self defense seminar, and I, when I set up a women's self defense seminar, and if people sign up for it or whatever, I I just I'm not somebody that's going to just cancel it and back out if we don't have the, an, enough people. So I, there was one time that I did a women's self defense seminar. We only had two ladies. They were awesome. I it was like, it was like me and uh, another lady that was an assistant of mine, and and we taught them for two hours just like we would everybody else. We got to cover more stuff. You know, it was it was it was a lot of fun. They were like awesome ladies. You know, and that one to me is very memorable because of that. Um, so sometimes just really big, or really small, or just the type of people that are in there <coughs> make it memorable, or something really cool happens and it you know makes it memorable, like the one where the dude was about to call nine one one. I enjoyed the one that we did with the Girl Scouts uh, very recently. Yes. Um, just a couple weekends ago, yeah. we did the one with the Girl Scouts, and that was that the older Girl Scouts. It was. And that one was pretty memorable. There were a lot of interesting characters. Everyone was so willing to participate. Um, and they were so interested. Yeah, it was a fun group. It, it was. And they all wanted to try something. Like, they were all ready to try. And I think that makes a big difference is, like, we've had some seminars that had plenty of people, but we've had, you know, we have stooges. You know, ones who don't want to try anything, <laughs> ones that just want to watch and turn their nose up at things. Like, mm, I have too much dignity to, <laughs> yeah. to escape that. Um, but in this particular one, pr like everyone was really willing to try everything. Yeah. And it was just really cool. Active shooter. Active I shooter. love the active shooter seminar. Active shooter um, is one that was really interesting. Um, because 
you get to the end of it after you've gone through all of the basics, like teaching you how to deal with things, and then you get to where we set up basically what what's a little bit like a movie theater situation, and you have That's someone come, one, yeah. and you have uh, someone come in from somewhere random with a training pistol or something, or one of our cert pistols, so that they can pretend to shoot people, you know. Yeah. Um, and the guys have to take them out, or well, not take them, take them, take them. <laughs> but they have to take them down and disarm them and all of that stuff and yeah. those are some that are interesting because like you do that with the lights off and everything so that they're having to really push themselves and, that's and then you flick the dark, and then you flick the lights on and then you just see this like dude on the ground like being pinned down by four guys you know or ladies or whatever it depends on the group yeah or, yeah, or so, women yeah we we run our active shooter response uh, training for We've run that so far for churches. We've run it just, you know, just general groups that come in and do it. Um, and that is a extremely fun seminar to run, workshop, whatever you want to call it. Um, that one is, is really, really cool. Uh, I enjoy teaching defensive pistol. Uh, seeing people, okay, it's funny because people come in and they will shoot and shoot and shoot targets and never move and do all the stuff and then they realize the difference between shooting a static target and actually moving and getting your adrenaline pumping and now trying to shoot a target even when that target is not moving and then we go into our you know virtual simulators where they are shooting moving targets and different stuff like that and they find out how hard some of that stuff is you know that's always fun as well uh we do need to wrap start wrapping this thing up my question to you two ladies is of all of the seminars that we do now, what is your absolute favorite one to do? <laughs> Callie, what is your favorite seminar? Uh, kids abduction prevention. Kids abduction prevention. What'd you say? Uh, I like just our basic self-defense, but the anti-abduction is probably my favorite. Okay. I'm horrible because I like all of them. I really, really do. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we wouldn't be doing them if I didn't like them. Um, but I have to say, and it might just be because it's our newest ones, but that integrated combatives, man, that thing was so cool. And just the, the different things that we did with that. And we talked about that in the one. Certain aspects of it could have been my favorite. All right. So abduction preventions, integrated combatives. But honestly, I love them all. I haven't had one that I don't like yet. Not that we do anyway. If we don't like them, we're not going to do them. Let's just be honest. All right, guys. So anyway. If you want to see what kind of seminars that we offer, we do actually go out. We travel out and do these things for churches, groups, uh, organizations. We do them for businesses. We we go around and we do all kinds of stuff. You can actually go to our website. We are going to try to update the area on like hosting a seminar. Go to check out hosting a seminar or class, and it can tell you that what some of the details about that, what we can come out and do uh, for you. And, um, yeah, check that out. Also, look at the things that we have available if you're in our area. Anyway, thank you very much, uh, and we will see you in the next podcast. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Impact Defense Podcast. If you'd like to learn more about how to keep yourself safe, check out the articles, videos, courses, and seminars at www.impactdefensenc.com. We also do training for security teams, churches, businesses, groups, and more. Stay sharp, stay focused, and train hard.